if you follow trends too much you always have to update your closet because now trends change with every season <music> back to my channel if you're new here yeah. hi my name is Sharon if you're not a subscriber or a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back today as you can tell by the title of the video or just by the thumbnail of this video today we're going to be doing a fashion video because we haven't done a sit down in a while so I asked you guys on my community tab if you can send in questions or topics that we can discuss as a sit down video and some of you guys were gracious enough to send in your questions which I truly truly appreciate um, I picked one question which was sent by Ara thank you so much for sending in your question I'm going to put uh, a screenshot of the question on the screen as well as um, read it out to you guys I also have like my little diary here because it's quite a picked question the question was how has your style changed from the from the 20s uh, up to now uh, also up absolute must-haves at this age and the importance of getting good quality clothing as opposed to affordable fashion and then lastly how do you dress as big chested women if this is something you might be interested in make sure that you keep watching and yeah let's get this video so we'll go into the first question which is um how has your style changed from the 20s uh to now so currently i'm 32 if you don't know i am 32 turning 33 in december i don't really feel like i'm in my 30s you know i don't know i can tell that you know my body is not the same uh from when i was in my 20s when i was in my 20s i was a very small girl i used to wear size 28 jeans sometimes 26 30 would actually be big so um, then i was a really small girl and now that i'm in my 30s and i've had kids my body has changed when i had riley my body didn't really change uh but then when i had my second born then my body really changed because i never used to have you know big busts and i never used to have a tummy i have a bit of a tummy now so because of that that has caused a change in my style and i think that's how my style is evolved i have to accommodate the new body shape that i have uh of course everybody wants an hourglass figure small waist big bum but somehow i think with also fashion you can get away with a couple of things so i think for now i try to just wear you know I still love my crop tops i still love my short skirts i still love my colors i still love my prints however i still have to wear those things in such a way that i don't accentuate parts of my body that are bigger than than how i would like them to be that's how i would say my style is is evolved i try to accommodate this new body by wearing white legged pants a-line skirts uh, you know just things that are tighter at the top and just flared at the bottom I think that's how I would describe my style these days and I like clothes that are loose I don't like feeling like I'm wearing something that's tight and in terms of shoes I always go for comfort because at this age you will start to experience not a lot of you but remember in the other video I was actually experiencing some big pain so that's something also that I have to keep into consideration so I'll say my style has changed from my 20s now that I'm in my 30s but I don't think so much has changed only that my body has changed so I have to accommodate the changes that has come with motherhood the second question is absolute must-haves at this age um so what i'm going to do on this question i think i'll try to be inclusive to everyone because i don't think not everyone that watches my video is in their theaters so i think this question would also just apply to anyone who's interested in fashion and who just likes to look nice because i think we all like to look nice i think fashion sometimes people look at clothes and how we talk about fashion is something that's naive or but what happens is when you look nice on the day that you look nice that you've put effort you feel yourself you see that even your confidence goes up even the way people address you goes up so fashion is a very big part of our lives so i think three absolute must have at my age or at any age for that reason i think a good white shirt in your closet is a must have because you will tell it in so many ways with jeans with a good skirt with inside a good dress you can take it from different seasons also because these these things um they apply to different seasons so absolute must-haves for us in the summer 
I would say a good white shirt, a good crisp white shirt. And this you can get anyway. If you can't buy it in like proper, proper stores, I think you can even find it Kubeiro. Like you can thrift a good white shirt. You wash it, you iron it properly. And it can take you for years as long as you're just taking good care of it. And then I think the second thing I'd say is a good pair of jeans. Guys, it doesn't matter what shape your body is. I think everyone has to have a good pair of blue jeans personally i will not vouch for skinny jeans because i do not like skinny jeans as you probably guys can tell i love my mom jeans i love my boyfriend jeans i love my jeans to be a little you know uh, loose and then flared at the bottom i don't like the skinny fit but if you know that that goes with your body type some people say they are out of style but honestly guys if you want you can just wear whatever you want i have one pair of jeans which is in black i wear it here and there not it still looks very new because i don't wear them often they are for mr price so find a good pair of jeans if you can't buy jeans from like proper stores like levi or um, i know new feeling makes really good jeans uh there are different a lot of brands that make really good jeans i will always vouch for thrift because i feel like i have like one two three pairs of jeans that I've actually thrifted and I love those jeans so much and some of these jeans that we we wear that, that we go to buy Kunana Zara and other shops when you take your time to thrift you'll find the same things uh, when you go thrifting so yeah number two a good pair of blue jeans and then lastly on my list I'll say a good pair of flats it could be loafers it could be sneakers it could be sandals it depends with what your style or what you prefer so i think sneakers would be you know not an option so a good pair of sandals or even loafers loafers also when you're shopping for loafers i think that you need to be very clever about that because most of them are not made for our african white feet so make sure that when you go you try them on you walk around with them and see how they feel so yeah those are my top three absolute must-haves in my and then we go on to the third question which is the importance of good quality clothing as opposed to affordable fashion i think that just because something is affordable doesn't mean it's not good quality you get what i mean like you can buy something that's relatively affordable but the quality is okay but i think i get your point could sometimes um we buy clothes that are cheap and then they don't last like now with the trend yoguti if you're not from zimbabwe we have this trend of um personal shoppers or we call them marana here that they stock things from china they stock things from south africa that are not in a very good condition however they are affordable so the trick is when you buy things like that you are just going to waste your money because cheap is expensive you buy a pair of cheap jeans like i said earlier the next day you're going to need another pair of good jeans and you keep doing the same thing same thing same thing instead of just buying a good pair of good quality clothing so in terms of also trends i like trends like i try to incorporate trends into my fashion but i'm not like a trendy trendy person because i think also following trends tends to be expensive where in summer summer will come with trends will come with new colors we go into winter we have new trends so you'll find that if you follow trends too much you always have to update your closet because now trends change with everything so what i do is i try to incorporate bits of trends in each season like this season i love this denim skirt that i have um i also love like the cargo pants that i recently got and i'll incorporate even the colors that are trending within that season like you get your bright orange tops your bright pink tops like into that season where color is really trending so you can wear your bright colors your greens your pinks your purple um, and also on, on that I, I actually think that it makes it easier it almost feels like you're, you're updating your closet when you shop um things that are trendy because you can always be wearing things that you're wearing in 2015 guys let's be honest in as much as people will try to bash trends i think that you get there's a way of incorporating them in your trends for instance i have things in my she in cut i'm going to put a screenshot of a few things in my she in cut that i'm planning to clear on black friday so those things are quite trendy but i know that getting them from she in is probably easier and maybe cheaper 
for me instead of walking around in another tank to look for these things so when i get these things then i try to incorporate them with the denim skirt with the cargo pants with whatever that is in my closet it's just cheaper and easier that way yeah i hope i answered that question correct and then we go on to the fourth and final question how to dress us girls with big past guys you know what if there's anything that i've realized is that being big chested sometimes there's a disadvantage when you want to wear certain things because you always have to have a bra on and you can't wear clothes and not wear a bra there are people who can do that but i think also it depends with the size of your boobs personally all these things that i'm talking about are based on my own experience and i find it difficult to dress to wear anything without a bra like sometimes like there, there's, there was other time i was wearing this vest and i really needed you know that push i had to like wear two sports bras just for comfort and so also that the top that i was wearing on top would come out nice so it's quite a lot of work so the tips that i would actually give to anyone who has a big bust also it's one thing to have a big past and big bust and you know be a big girl and have a big cast big bust and then you're a small girl like i wear size 12 but i have a bust of someone who wears size 18 or size 20 so it becomes imbalanced so in my case what i do is i try to balance my closet like i said earlier i still love my like my crop tops so what i'll do is i'll do my crop top at the top and then for that balance you need pants that are flared so that you don't look too skinny i hope i'm making sense like skinny jeans i think that's why also i don't wear skinny jeans so what i do as a big bastard go number two make sure that you wear the proper bra a proper bra is a must because things tend to you know get out of position and you know you want everything to be in place if you must wear two bras wear two bras my friend and just make sure that the outfit that you're trying to wear comes out really cute your flared pants will help you because they give that balance this is i think this applies to someone who has a body like mine who is trying to find that balance in terms of their pants. that's tight at the top make it loose at the bottom so that you have that you know hourglass figure that we're, illusion of an hourglass figure that we are trying to give and then lastly if you're going to do dresses if you don't prefer to wear maybe you don't like jeans or you don't like trousers you can do airline dresses or airline skirts so again tight at the bottom but an airline skirt will give you that illusion that there's an hourglass and then it's flat at the bottom thank you so much rsc for sending in this question those are all the questions that i wanted to address in this video i hope you guys found it useful you found it entertaining uh so i'll see you in my next video